So you can't buy love, but at this time of year, a little bling usually goes with the real thing. It looks pretty to me. After all, diamonds deliver a glow only nature can create. At least, until now. We grow diamonds. You grow diamonds? Yes, we do. Linares is on the cutting edge of the gem business. Absolutely. His company, Apollo Diamonds, makes stones at a lab outside Boston. In just a few days, a tiny diamond seed is fused with carbon and heat and grows into a full-fledged gem, something it takes millions of years to do in nature. I think conventional wisdom would say that diamonds only come from the ground, and um, uh, that notion is just not true. The company calls the creations cultured diamonds, like cultured oh, pearls, yeah. but traditionalists don't buy it. A diamond is forever. Fiercely protective of its exclusive place in the world's most glittering business, the diamond industry wants the government to force the newcomers to call their stones synthetic. Still, experts at the Gemological Institute of America are now grading them like mine diamonds by carat, cut, clarity, and color. They have the makeup and characteristics and chemical composition of a natural diamond. Which cubic zirconia doesn't. The Apollo diamond is usually close to colorless, a few other companies produce more exotic, fancy colored stones. As the big see, selling point for any of them the is price. So the one that is slightly larger will cost slightly less, and that's the Apollo. Tempting for some cash-strapped shoppers in Boston's Diamond District. I like to give her the same diamonds people have been giving their girlfriends for ages, but um, if there's a more affordable way and I could get away with it. Oh, no, he can't, no. It has to be a real diamond. As it turns out, most of the early sales have been engagement rings, and, and none has been returned, proving that it is what's in the heart that matters. Joey Chen, CBS News, Boston.